in Tacloban, he was given an option to celebrate the Mass in the sacristy with the cameras and then to be projected on the lens screen. From his facial expression, he said, but why? The people are under the rain. I should be with them. So he, it, was, it was so natural for him to choose to be with the people. This happened in Tacloban? In Tacloban. Behind the tent? Yes, behind the, no, behind the stage. Behind the stage. Behind the stage, there is a temporary tent yeah. for the sacristy. Because I remember he spent like five to ten minutes there. Yes, and uh, it was a decision to celebrate the Mass in public where he could be seen, where he could uh, feel what the people were feeling. Uh, and uh, he also gave instructions very clearly not to upgrade, not to renovate the room where he will stay in the Apostolic Nashichur. So, when he came, the first question he asked was, did you change anything here? And of course, the Apostolic Nosha said, nothing as you instructed us. But what is the difference between now and when you were using it? And the Nosha said, it's cleaner. <laughs> at least, at least. So, he understood that uh, <laughs> he just had to clean it for him. Of course, it's and a human him. thing to do. That's him. Did you interact with him a lot here in Manila? Well, uh, not as much as I wanted. Uh, but uh, yes, we had the uh, interactions. For example, in the plane, uh, a higher-ranking cardinal in the Vatican, in need of a staff, uh -huh. would most likely say to the flight attendant, can you call cardinal so-and-so or can you call Doctor so and so, I wish to speak with him. But this Pope Francis, wanting to speak with some of the lay staff in the papal plane, stood from his seat, went to the row where the staff was seated, and talked to him while he was standing, like one of the flight attendants. Ah, talaga. Siya ang nakatayo. Siya ang nakatayo. At yung staff na kaupo, nakatingala sa kanya, siya yung lumapit kasi siya yung may kailangan daw. Mm. That's him. Mm. Nice. And without cameras. Without cameras. And uh, in Tacloban, he was not able to eat because he chose to listen to the victims of uh, Typhoon Yolanda. So understandably, when we got to the plane at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, he was very hungry. But the plane was not prepared for lunch because we were supposed to board at around 4. Ah, talaga. So they only had light snacks. So for that day, he only had potato chips. Really? For lunch. Without complaint. Mineral water potato chips, a pack of peanuts, that was his lunch because that was what was available. But he could have asked them to get yes, him a full certainly. meal. Yes, certainly. He spoke. He can ask for anything. But he just ate what was available. Nice. Because there are some sopas in his mesa sa palo, di ba? Yes. But he chose to listen. Because I think in his mind, uh, partaking of the lunch would uh, not give the victims full attention. So he wanted full attention because the, the moments, the minutes that he was spending with them are very precious for the Pope. That is why he gave his 100% attention. What message does this send to us, Filipinos? 
authenticity. I think we should be ourselves. We should not forget our roots. We should not forget our humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should always remember that uh, before God, we have nothing to boast. Before God, we are all nothing. And all the glories, all the praises that we see or that we receive are all passing. In the end, it is only what God says about us that should matter.